What's good, y'all? So tonight was the December 19th, 2022 edition of Monday Night Raw. But not only that, tonight was actually the final episode of Monday Night Raw for the year of 2022. Next week, they're just going to be showing Raw clips, the best moments, recapping the whole year like they did last year on SmackDown. So don't really expect a review from me next week for Raw since that's what they're going to do. But overall, with this being the final episode of Monday Night Raw of 2022, I got to say, this was overall a really good show. Like, it really seemed like they were really going all out tonight. I mean, the bloodline took over Raw like the NWO did back in the day, back on WCW Nitro, you feel me? I mean, they were just running ramp shot. They were attacking guys like freaking... Um, everyone from, from from freaking Dolph Ziggler to Cedric Alexander... They even attack, you know, um, Andre Chase from NXT. I mean, they just going at everyone, obviously, because he kicked off the show with the tribal chief, the head of the table, Roman Reigns being like, KO, you're going to need a whole raw roster to take down the bloodline, to take down the island of relevancy. But we kicked the show off with a tag team match player. It was the Judgment Day versus the Street Profits. Granted, this match didn't really last long, I gotta say. This is a pretty good way to open up the show, which had the Street Profits take the win. But after the match, because obviously Tazawa splashed the, his solo cup on the Dominic. Dominic still recovering from what Asuka did. Rhea was like, oh, you want to hurt my man? You want to hurt my guy? You and me in this ring. So we get a Rhea Ripley versus Akira Tazawa match. Intergender match. I got to say, I, I thought this was pretty good. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, obviously, intergender wrestling, for me, it's like, if it's done well, it could be good. And it's one of those situations where, if done right, it's good. And, again, it's one of those situations where they really did right with this. And it was good. You know, Rhea and Akira both, you know, Akira Tadad did both good. So, Rhea Ripley got the win, obviously, you know, was expected. Now, we saw the OC and Alpha Academy go at it. I thought this match was okay for the most part, you know, but pretty predictable as the OC got the win, though. But what was expected, that the Bloodline came out attacking the OC and the Bloodline hijacking Raw, which, of course, led to the match between AJ Styles and Sami Zayn. But before we get to that, we had Alexa Bliss and Bianca Belair. I thought this was a little nice sit-down interview they had with Byron Saxton. You know, Bianca's like, girl... Something up with you, all right? And then Alexa's like, look, it's Bray. He kidnapped me and all this stuff. And then, of course, we saw how <laughs> the logo once again popped on the screen. And Alexa with the glass flower vase or whatever, just, the, the, yeah, the vase, just bang, hit Bianca with it. I was like, wow. And uh, it is confirmed that uh, Alexa Bliss and Bianca will face each other on the first Raw of the year for the Raw Women's Championship. So, I thought that was a pretty good segment there. Miz and Dexter Loomis, this was a winner-take-all match, ladder match for the money, of course. At first, I thought this match start was like, oh, it's okay. But by the end, I was like, all right, this is pretty good. But the Miz actually won here. You want to know how the Miz won? The Miz won because of freaking Jonah. Not Jonah, but uh, <laughs> I almost called it. That's his name outside of the WWE. But Bronson Reed. Former NXT North American champion is back. I ain't gonna lie to you. Out of all the returns that's happened this year, I wasn't really feeling this one low key. Um, you know, I get Triple H wants to bring back all the kitties back, but I mean, you don't need to bring back all the kitties, you know what I'm saying, to the pool. But um, uh, like I said, from a match standpoint, it, it was it was okay at first, but it really got good towards the end. The Miz got the win. And I guess Bronson is going to be filling that role that Champa was, because obviously, for those who don't know, Champa is out with the neck injury. Sami Zayn and AJ Styles was next. This was a pretty solid match here. A lot of people were shocked because Sami actually won with the Blue Thunder Bomb because Sami barely wins with the Blue Thunder Bomb. But he won tonight against AJ. Of course, Sol Sequoia was out there as well, which was the main reason why Sami Zayn even got the win in the first place. We heard from Seth Rollins. Theory comes out there. These guys go back and forth. I really like that quote from Ron saying, "You damn it, I'm I'm Mount Everest. I'm the mountain. I'm the I'm the peak." You know, I like I like that I like that call from Ron, like telling Theory, "You'll never be me." And of course, the Usos come out there. Theory leaves. Ko comes out, 
And that's basically going to lead us into our main event. But before we get to our main event, we get Becky Lynch versus Bayley. Uh, the match was all right. You know, this is actually the first time these four, these two women have fought in, like, I think four years. So it's been a long time since they fought. But for the most part, I mean, the match was, eh, was okay. I mean, well, nothing really special about it, I can say. Oh, you got to check out this match for Raw. Especially, you know, this wasn't the match for the main event, but... Bailey got the win, and um, you know that brings us to our main event: Usos and, of course, KO and um, Seth Rollins. This is a pretty good match, though, and I, I really liked the ending. Of course, I thought it capped off what was a pretty overall a really good show uh, for Monday Night Raw. Like I said, this is the final Monday Night Raw of 2022. So, yeah, that has been my December the 19th Monday Night Raw edition. Now, remember, y'all, like I said. Uh, in my last video, uh, the weekend, I will be dropping my top 10 AEW matches and my top 10 WWE matches of the year. So be on the lookout for those two big videos coming out the, this this weekend. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. This has been the Kid DC Wrestling. And so, um, yeah.